So hi, so today's career video is going to be a little bit on the dark, right? So it's a little bit late at night. We're here parking on an RV park. I'm not sure if you can see the RVs in the back there. Uh, so here behind us, uh, that's our RV. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's, that's a nice RV park here near Houston. And um, so sorry about the darkness. But uh, I just wanted to continue a little bit of the discussion that we started yesterday uh, with John Bacon and Carl Fogel. And it's, it's just, you know, the whole thing is about responsibility, you know, taking responsibility for our careers. Uh, it's very normal. It's like human nature that we uh, uh, try to blame others and the circumstances and the environment and everything else around us for the bad things that happen to us, right? So, you know, if, if we're having some difficulties or if we're having some problems with a teammate or if anything goes wrong in our family or in our, in our, in our job or in our projects, uh, it's, it, it's, you know, it's very hard for us to blame ourselves, right? To point the fingers to ourselves. And so, so we tend to look around us and try to find somewhere in the world and try to decide what, what can be causing uh, what is the response? Who is responsible? For, who who is to blame for the wrong things that happened to me? And the problem with that is that every time you do this, every time you blame someone else or some circumstance or 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 the nature or the world or whatever uh, for what's going on with you, it means that what is that you can do about it, right? If it's if if it's others, if it's the world, there's nothing that you can do about it, right? And this is very bad because it paralyzes uh, us. Uh, for not looking for a solution, right? Because we just blame. It's a, we, we play this blame game of blaming others. And really, uh, it's not about blame, right? You know, lo bad things happen every time, and there's lots of things that have, there, there, there's, there's no one's fault um, for, for what's going on. So, so it's not a blame game, right? We should play the responsibility game, right? We should take responsibility for our own lives, and for everything that happens with us, right? Once we take responsibility for our life, what happens is that we change the whole thing, right? We start looking around and see, okay, so yeah, so you know, the, the traffic. There's lots of traffic, and 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 I'm not gonna get to the job or to the, to the meeting on time. So I can I start blaming traffic. I start ba blaming. Uh, you know, what, whatever happened, uh, the, gar the, the car that broke in front of us, whatever. But if we take responsibility, uh, we start saying, okay, well, you know, that was, that was bad, right? I, I, didn't, I didn't leave early enough for the meeting. So next time, I'm going to work out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave earlier, or I'm going to do something else, or I'm going to call in the customer and say, let's, let's do the meeting uh, over Skype instead of doing presential. I don't know. You know, you can take responsibility and you can learn to do better in next time. And so that that really has a lot to do with our careers, right? Because look around today, what's going on uh, in your career right now, right? Look around and see, uh, you know, are you are you happy with things that are going on? Are you happy the way your project's being run? Are you happy uh, with with what your your coworkers are doing? Are you happy with the codes, right? And and you know. Uh, stop blaming others, right? See, is there anything that you can do instead of saying, oh, you know, the other guys in my team, they're not interested in quality. Or instead of saying, um, you know, the, the, uh, my boss doesn't plan things or the customer or whatever, you know, can you, can you look around and see the problems that are going on? If there's anything that you can do to improve that particular situation, right? Is there, is there a meeting that you can do with your boss to explain things? Is that some training that you can do with your coworkers? Is that something that you can talk with the customer? I mean, is there something you can do to solve that problem? And, and look around your career, right? So you're, you're like, oh, my boss doesn't let me go to events or, you know, I, 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 I don't do trainings or I don't earn enough money. Is there something you can do? Right? Is that is that is that a new project that you can bring to your company that will introduce new technologies? Is there a new person that you can talk to uh, that, to change some things? Is there a new architecture that you can try out? Is there something that you can do? So every time you take responsibility for your life, what happens in your career? What happens is all the pro don't, the problems don't go away. 
but they start to get solvent, right? So I think this is the most, I think this is probably the, one of the most important career uh, uh, secrets and career uh, tips that I, that I can ever give you. And, you know, take responsibility. Stop blaming others. Stop blaming yourself, right? Just take responsibility. It's not a blame game. It's a responsibility game. What is it? What you can do to improve your life, your career, and then just go and do it. Okay. So, you know, thanks for following us. Uh, we are here at the Java tour around the United States and uh, we're going to visit Java groups everywhere. So tomorrow we're going to do the Houston Java group and um, basically, you know, you, you can follow us every day. I'm going to record and upload a new career tip uh, so you can improve your career and you can have a much better uh, Java career and you can work in better project with better people. All right. Thanks. Thanks for listening.